Hi everybody, today is Sunday, uh, Saturday, Saturday, June 30th. Um, do a, another update on my aquaponics system. This is the, I believe, the third update on the uh, on the growth of my arugula and spinach that I've had in both uh, my floating wrap system here. That's a tat. That's floating wrap system. That's uh, part of my aquaponics system, as well as in my wicking bed over here. And um, basically, if you didn't see the other videos, what had happened was that the wicking bed arugula was doing much, much, much better than the floating raft arugula and the floating raft spinach for that matter and I had some sort of mineral deficiency which um, I had trouble figuring out what it was but I, I think I finally figured it out um, and the arugula now is looking is looking much 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 better than it was um, two weeks ago and, and even one week ago um, it's it's much greener now and the plants have 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 definitely grown they've uh, I think recovered from from whatever it was that that was wrong. Well, what I believe what I believe was wrong was that the pH was um, too high uh, for the plants to be able to absorb iron, and so I lowered the pH by adding phosphoric acid to the system. Um, I also added some potassium, but um, I think when I added the, the phosphoric acid, that's when they really um, things turned around, as well as chelated iron. But I had added chelated iron before lowering the pH, and it, ha it didn't have any effect. So I'm pretty sure it was the pH that was blocking the, the iron. Now some of these plants, um, I mean this one, I mean the rest of this plant looks good, but, it, but there's some that have damaged leaves, and there's some like this one that, that um, this one looks good in the morning, but then once the sun comes up and it gets hotter, it doesn't look as good. I don't know if it's just because it needs to get a little bigger to behave uh, or to be able to, 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 to keep up. Um, but then others, like the, this one and the one I showed you over there, are looking really, really good. Um, on the other hand, the spinach, um, it, it's gotten better, but these still aren't anywhere near the size of the plants that are in the wicking bed, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, along the back here, in case you've... Uh, You've noticed these are chili plants that I've got on the, along the back row, and the idea there is that um, those plants will grow fairly tall, and so they'll they'll be in direct sunlight. The sun is to the to the in that direction up, um, so they'll get the direct sunlight. And chili plants like a lot of sun, so that's fine. And then if anything, they might create a little bit of a block for the plants that are that are lower and that are growing in front. So. Anyway, here's just a few more of these arugula plants. And if I weren't um, about to be traveling for a couple of weeks, I might even cut, I'd be cutting some of these back today. With arugula, you can cut cut and come again um, at least one. You can cut them once and come back once, um, and maybe even more. I'm not sure yet. This is the first time I've been growing it. This arugula in the wicking bed I did cut back last week. And um, I'm going to be able to to to, um, to take some more out of here, but not until I come back from from uh, I'm taking off for vacation for a couple weeks. And then over here, this is the spinach, and and this is just there's no comparison between this and the and the and the and the raft bed spinach. This spinach is just a million times better. I mean, those, those leaves are really huge. They're just nice and fleshy, and um, I'll be taking some of this today for sure, even if I have to give it away and don't have time to eat it all. Um, so anyway, that's the uh, comparison and the results of the of the floating raft arugula, which um, I'm, I'm kind of happy that I, I was able to figure out what was going on with it. Um, over here behind me, this is um, watermelon that's growing in two gravel beds. Um, it's totally out of control. The leaves are down. Plant has, has gotten all the way down on the ground here, and then along the back, it's even. You can see over here it goes behind this particular filter, and it's all the way back. Okay, my video just got cut off, but I'm I'm continuing now. So anyway, the watermelon plant is um, totally out of control. There's also um, growth 
back over there. I'm not sure if I'm holding the camera right, but I'm trying to show I'm trying to show all the watermelon plant that's growing over the fish tank. Um, so anyway, I said in a previous video that high nitrate levels um, promote uh, green leafy growth, but they inhibit fruit setting, and that's what's happening here. My nitrate levels are too high, which are great for the for the growth of uh, leaves and stems, but not for fruits. So um, I'm going to cut the plant back, I'll cut it all the way back, and let it regrow, um, because since I'm going to be gone, I need something in the system to absorb the nitrates anyway. So I'm just going to, I'm going to cut it all back, and if it doesn't die, um, then I'm going to let it grow back, and if it does die, um, I'm leaving instructions for, for my caretaker to, to plant some, uh, some mint, which will, without a doubt, um, grow probably even faster than watermelon, and um, and do the same job of, of, of absorbing all the nitrates. So, uh, and then just a quick view of the tank here. Not sure if you can see the fish with the reflection in the water, but got plenty of fish down in there. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, when I come back, the, the chili plants should be. I'll be coming back in two and a half or three weeks and the chili plants in the back here should be taller. The arugula, I don't know what's going to happen with the arugula. Either it'll get eaten or it'll have to be tossed. And, um, and that's about it. And I'm, I'll either have more watermelon or I'll have uh, some mint. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back in two or three weeks.